Woo! Here we are, you guys. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. We're starting 10 weeks. Like, share, subscribe. This is the beginning yes. of the frag build that we have been talking about with a great giveaway. So we're going to be starting that whole process today. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't kept a reef tank, even if you have, stick around for all 10 weeks because you're going to learn a lot. Um, what else we got here, Jess? We're going to drop Roll that, that intro. intro. Drop that intro. <laughs> Love it. Great Welcome intro. Welcome back, you guys. We got a new background here behind us, look, looking really Ooh, nice. Very Pop nice. And fresh. New countdown. Yes, Never new countdown. Never noticed that one. So we are starting into week one of this 10 week series that we're doing on the Frag 105.4. And this is going to be a really awesome build. We're doing mm -hmm. some special stuff with it. And um, we have a nice page to show you about a giveaway we're doing. What are we giving away? So guys, if you haven't already hopped on our website, we have a landing page specifically for this giveaway. Keenan, hopefully you can pop it up here in just a I'm, second. I'm getting to it. <laughs> almost, no almost. worries. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna dive into what this, what this means for you guys. So we're, we're doing a 10 week build A to Z, setting up a reef tank on the Frag 105.4, but as well along with that, we are giving away a Frag 105.4. Not just the aquarium, Jess. Oh my God. We are giving this away. It's the Plus XR edition. So this is going to include Ecotech Marine Radions. Wow. Specifically the new G5 Blues. So you guys are going to want to stick around for this. You're going to want to watch every episode to find out how you can win this thing, how you can get better chances to win it. Um, there's the entry form right there. So when you fill out that entry form, just so you know, you're going to fill it out. You're going to put your info in. And then once you do that, it's going to give you um, a few other options here to hit our website, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. All of those things there are going to get you more entries. So yeah. take advantage of that. Yeah, that is awesome. <clears throat> Doesn't get much better than a frag tank, one of a four foot frag with some Ecotech radions. Like, yeah. you know, that's yeah. dreams coming true right there. Yeah. So, um, and then also on that page, it'll have all the episodes. So as we do them, you know, they will be listed on there so you can go back and watch. And like we were saying, Rich, is this is going to be from the very beginning mm -hmm. to where if you've never had a saltwater tank, we're going to show you from receiving it all the way to stocking it. Yep. Um, so that, you know, plumbing, like all the steps. And it's going to be really, mm -hmm. really educational and give you a chance to see us put together a really, really nice frag system. Yeah. And one of the things you guys have been asking for for a long time is not only a, a full blown reef, like how to, but using some of the higher end equipment. So we're going with Ecotech. This thing is gonna be loaded down yeah, you're gonna love it. with Ecotech. And we're gonna show you that here in just a minute. Um, there you go. So here's some of the equipment that's going on there. Uh, we've got the Radeon uh, G5 Blues, of course. We've got the Vectra, the MP40. As always, the Nio skimmer is back and we got the XP Aqua Duetto. But the base of this all is the Frag Tank yes. and the Frag Series. Um, so we have to kind of delve into what exactly is that, what makes it, you know, unique in our line. It's also happy hour, Jeff. It is happy hour. So. Cheers. Cheers. So, um, yeah, so the Frag <laughs> Series, we put together um, like an overview video on the Frag to kind of go into depth about this tank and the systems. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> Maybe. Can you roll? I'd like to give you a quick overview of the Frag series from Waterbox Aquariums. The Frag series has a display height of 16 inches, which makes a great choice for a shallow reef. Each aquarium is handcrafted with ultra clear low iron starfire glass, which provides unparalleled clarity. The edges are diamond beveled and assembled by our technicians using high strength Wacker silicone. A unique feature of the frag is a full glass overflow box, which allows for easy cleaning and maintenance. Dual adjustable return nozzles provide maximum turnover inside the aquarium. The included plumbing kit is prefabricated, so it requires no gluing or extra parts and can be assembled in minutes. 
To ensure quiet operation, a precision gate valve is installed on the main drain. This allows for accurate adjustments of the water level inside the overflow box. The frag has a pre-glued self-leveling mat to help minimize the effects of uneven surfaces or pressure points. Each frag system includes high quality cabinetry made of water resistant UV painted plywood. All hinges are soft closed and coated with silicone to minimize oxidation. The glass sump filtration system includes 4 inch filter socks, sock silencer, ATO reservoir, and ample space for your skimmer, reactor, and return pump. The frag is available in two, three, and four foot models. For more information on the frag series, visit waterboxaquariums.com. Wow, that's beautiful. Whoa, yes. whoa, what happened? Whoa, whoa. Where did all this equipment come from all of a sudden? I must have blocked out. So, um. beautiful series. Um, the frag, really excited to be doing the forefoot, which is our biggest. But this is all the Ecotech stuff that we're going to be running on this. It is pretty much completely maxed out. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Um, the top, top of the line. I got the skimmer down here. I didn't put it up here. Um, but yeah, this is all of it. Yes, and one of the um, awesome things is that all of this is going to be available on our website to purchase yep. with your water box. Um, so do check that out, and those will be all shipping now or pretty soon. Yep, so most of this equipment is shipping now, and like she said, the, the G5, the Radions are now available on waterboxaquariums.com. You're going to be arriving any uh, day now. Mm -hmm. So you guys know we have the Plus HD edition. Well, we now have the Plus XR. Wow! edition so you guys have been asking for this for a long time you know it took us a little while to get it to you but we're giving you 10 weeks of it so it's awesome and now you can do ai and ecotech all the best yeah. products out there all available to pair with your water box yeah. right on waterboxaquariums.com love it it is a winning situation and this build is going to be so so awesome yeah. um but one of the first things before we can even do a build is how is this tank getting to you and mm -hmm. like everyone has this and you know, has this happened where they've ordered your tank, yeah. especially if it's four or five, six foot something big. Now, what do you do? Like, right, it's you, something that a lot of people don't think about. Is like, you know, they order the aquarium. Well, you have to get it in your house. You have to receive this large aquarium. So we got a video for that. We're gonna uh, walk through you. Jess is gonna yeah. walk you through. So of course, the, the whole process. Frag 105 had to make it to us, and it got delivered with a freight carrier, as all of your um, larger aquariums will, on a pallet strapped and wrapped, just like this and we are going to gently just get the wrapping and the banding off of it so that we can then bring it inside. When you are having your tank delivered, please have hands on deck and have enough people available to do this um, pretty quickly because it is usually a pretty big feat. Yeah. At least to get that out of your driveway or garage or wherever and into place. I can say place. you have a $20 bill handy so that your driver will put it in your garage possibly. Yeah, so we are unboxing it, <clears throat> doing a quick check. One thing you know is you do want to inspect your aquarium um, you know, within that first 24 hours of getting it for anything that could be damaged and that. So we're doing a quick check on the sump, your plumbing kits in there, all nestled into the tank itself. And we're just checking all that out. Look how nicely that is packed. Beautifully packed. And these crates are hardcore so they can handle a lot. Getting the water box to you in one piece is our number one goal. Yes. Glass is relatively difficult to transport as you would imagine, but we've put a lot of thought into it as you can see just how much detail goes into that packaging there. Um, and even since this packaging has been shown, we've made some improvements as well. Yes. That'll be coming. We're always improving on it, so. All right, and so we uh, built the cabinet here. Um, we always suggest building the cabinet first, and then we are putting the sump right into it so that you're not putting your sump off to the side, possibly getting mm -hmm. damaged, setting it on hard surfaces. Glass is sensitive. You know, we don't want you cracking or, you know, hurting your sump right away. Gently remove Gently. the panels of the crate really carefully. Um, like I said, the, the crate for the tank is built really, really well. So it is going to take some, some extra muscle mm -hmm. to get it removed. Um, the other option, Jess, is some people do have suction cups that they can lift these out of the crate with. Yeah. Uh, not everybody has that. So we showed you kind of the more common way. You just got to be real careful taking those crate sides off. Here we are lifting it onto the this stand. Beautiful frog. Two people can lift this one easily. Yeah, once you go above four foot, you are going to need more people. Mm -hmm. um, so you know the, you do have to consider that when you're ordering an aquarium, that this is all going to need to happen um, whenever you receive yeah. it, as far as uncrating it and getting it into your house and you know check everything over, all that. 
So the beautiful frag made it to us, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and we had to, of course, pick a proper spot for it. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, yeah, are we we're gonna go out to the. Yeah, go take a look at the frag in its spot of where we chose for it to go for the build. So we're gonna go on out there. Alrighty, guys. So one of the things that we did prior to this, as Jess said, is we, we were real careful with where we were actually going to put the tank. So not only do you have to consider where you're actually going to, or how you're going to receive it, but where are you actually going to put the tank, right? Yes. So we <clears throat> came in our lobby, we put up this, you know, awesome new wall here. You know, it looks great. We wanted a nice facade behind the tank. Mm -hmm. So we, we got the space ready. We leveled it and everything. Yes, so. and one thing is, is to make sure that your floors are pretty level to begin with. If you pick a spot and that's where you want your tank and the floor is pretty uneven, it slopes, pick another spot. Just got to give up, go to another spot. It needs to be very, very level. Um, our leveling feet do allow you to do some compensation, but you do want the spot to be already level. Yeah, let the floor do as much as it can without yes. having to adjust the leveling feet too much, if possible. And so we got the frag here, and one of the great things about the frag is the height of it. Mm -hmm. is it is 16 inches tall. Totally meant to bring a tape measure to show, because we talked about. <laughs> so your height of your display is 16 inches, whereas like in our reef, it's more about this tall. So it is a yeah. little, kind of like a shallow reef, yep. um, is what a lot of people use it as. It's also as great as Frag Series. We've seen like Lagoon, Mangrove, all mm -hmm. kinds of different options for it. But you do have a 16 inch height, same width and everything as like your Reef Series. Um, and then, of course, all the same features of your nozzles and all that stuff that every other yeah. water box has. Back on the height real quick, Jess. So if you guys may remember, we've had the Frag series for a couple years now. The old Frag was about 12 and a half inches high, which I guess is probably about right there. Yeah. So we've added, you know, about four inches uh, to the system. Great, gives it a great new height again, comparing it to the reef, which is 21 inches high. This gives a great great viewing angles for any type of reef system that you set up. That's one of the things I love about it, because mm -hmm. when you walk up to it, especially with my height, you know, you can see it from the front, but you can also see it from the top, which yes. I love. And with my short self, I can actually reach into it yeah. without a ladder. So <laughs> that's always a bonus for the short people out there. Um, so this is a spot that we chose, and we're going to start building this along the way each week. And, you know, like I said, choose your spot very carefully, where you're putting mm -hmm. it. Plan it beforehand so it's not a surprise yeah. later. Yeah, make sure you got your electrical in line. Make sure you have the le the floor level. If you have a if you have a elevated house, make sure you have an engineer look at it and make sure that there's plentiful or a good amount of support underneath. Can handle the weight. Yeah, handle the weight heavy. of the tank because these things do get very heavy, especially in our large systems. So, um, this is exciting. the start. This is the beginning. It is in place. Everyone gets to take a look at it. Yeah. So again, you guys. Um, we, we put a lot of time and thought into how we were setting that up out there, and um, it's basically actually the lobby of our headquarters here. It is. Um, it's really awesome. Um, I love how we did the wall behind it to be um, a different color and texture than the rest of the lobby. It really kind of sets it apart, and we have that's where we have the the Dream 220 on one side, and this is right across from it on the yeah. other. But they look completely different because of that backdrop, which is very similar yeah. to the back of our studio, but a different color. Yeah, it color. is, yeah. So we took we a little bit different color, a little bit more grays out there. So uh, that particular area out there, Jess, is gonna be, bring these people lots of really good educational content because mm -hmm. it's not just the frag that's going up, there'll be a lot more. Yeah, that's where the next 10 weeks where we're gonna be spending is between here and out on that tank. Yeah. Like I said, we're doing all Ecotech equipment, very excited, all of this is now available from waterboxaquariums.com. And um, you know, don't forget that there's been a frag given away at the end of this. A frag with the uh, XR15 lighting, that's a big deal, Jeff. So I was actually not only are we dropping knowledges, yes. but we're going to give away a Knowledges and free tanks. Knowledges and a free tank. And happy hour For everybody, is. happy hour every <laughs> Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, so we can't forget Ask Jess. It's still here. Yeah, Gotta so we are, guys, we're going to be doing Ask Jess every week. If you want to uh, get your questions answered live, Email us, askjess at waterboxaquariums.com. Sounds good. Let's roll. All right. What do we got we today? Go. All righty, Jess. So the first question we have for you guys today is from Matthew. He says, hey, Jess, 
What's the best method to feed bottom dwelling fish? I like that question. Yeah, so that's a really good one because it can be difficult. Um, you know, people have a tank and it's got tons of active fish that are, you know, swimming and thing. When you feed, they take up all the food and you're like, no food gets to the bottom. Sometimes you get lucky enough as a fish, like the bottom dweller gets like adjusted into the tank that they'll come and just get up in the mix and grab some mm -hmm. food. A lot of times it's not that easy or for a while they will stay hidden out at the bottom. Um, my best friend, I think for a tank in general, but especially for like spot feeding, is a turkey baster. Um, they work great, take some of your food right in there and you can actually just put it right towards the burrow or in the back of the rock where the fish is. Mm -hmm. And it gives them a chance to eat while everyone else is eating in the main water column. And there's, there's other fancier versions, um, little feeders, like poles and stuff. Um, a cheap $2 turkey baster works yeah. phenomenal for that kind that of stuff. That is one tool that I would say that every aquarium keeper should have around as a turkey baster. It sounds odd because it's in your yeah. kitchen, but it right. works great for a fish tank on a lot of different ways. But especially if you're spot feeding, get those bottom fish yeah. some food until they get, you know, brave enough to come out into the main feeding area. Good deal. So the next question we got here is from Teresa. She says, Jess, my saltwater aquarium has been up and running for about a year. Do I ever need to change out my live rock? Um, no. I think people wonder this because sometimes we talk about like changing sand or adding sand and mm -hmm. stuff like get depleted. Rock is definitely a different story. You shouldn't have to do anything with your rock as far as changing it out unless your tank is like considerably old, I would say. Um, but we're talking, you know, very long running system, seven, eight years, you might want to consider that. Yeah. Unless you had some kind of previous algae issues where you might have like a lot of nitrates or phosphates bound up into your rock, mm -hmm. just leave your rock be. Yeah. Just doing thing. As long as you're keeping your tank maintained, your rock isn't like becoming a source of nutrients. Right. So yeah, just make sure it. your flow is good. Make sure you're doing your water changes. Make yeah. sure you keep cleaning the rock, and it should be, be long. Turkey time. baster comes in handy for that too. Take there, a turkey baster yep. to your rock, and it gets all the debris out of your rock. So. Love it. All right. So next question is from Stephen. He says, "Hey Jess, the area I want to put my water box has a lot of windows and natural sunlight. Is this going to be bad for my aquarium? And if so, what can I do to help?" Yes, so um, it's actually kind of funny because in our lobby we had the front door and the front windows would actually bring a lot mm -hmm. of light in there and we recently got a window film put mm -hmm. on them to help block out some of that natural light. That's one option if you're picking a room that has a lot of windows um, that you don't want to constantly have the blinds closed is to put that like UV filter yeah. on the windows and the doors and stuff and that's going to keep a lot of that harmful sunlight out. Um, if you have blinds you can keep them closed through the worst part of the day. But if your tank is getting too much sunlight directly on it, it's going to create a lot of algae. Your tank's yeah. going to be more green than anything, and you really don't want that. Yeah. Yep. Love that question. Keenan, real quick, there's a lot of people in here that have not been with us. Can we pull up the giveaway real quick? Um, I want to run through this real quick. We were about to cut, but... So, guys, if you don't know, 10 weeks, setting how to set up a reef aquarium from A to Z um, using our FRAG 105.4. Yeah. Um, if and Keen's going to pull up this, the, the website. If you haven't headed over to our website yet, just go over to waterboxaquariums.com. Either at the top or midway down the homepage, you can click the link to actually sign up to win this. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to earn more points as well. So Boom. There you go. So guide to setting up a reef aquarium. We have our whole agenda scheduled there so you can see all the different episodes that you can tune in for. And we're going to give you clues, you know, and, and just more information on how to win this aquarium throughout the build. Um, so this is going to be great, Jess. It is. And the gr <clears throat> cool thing is, is like, even if you're a beginner <clears throat> or you're an advanced hobbyist, uh, this is going to kind of meet everyone's interest because we're using very, I'd say, high end, more advanced equipment. But mm -hmm. we're going to make it easy to follow along to where even this is your first tank, you could yeah. run all this and it'd be completely simple to understand the whole setup the whole time. Yep. And then if you're, you know, advanced, you've been doing this for a long time. Just the fact of what great equipment we're using on this should intrigue you enough. Yeah. Like, it's I mean, going to be all, really, really nice. This is all new, high-end stuff. The newest lighting from Ecotech, the new Versa dosing, as well as the return pumps, and of course, the NIO stuff. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this tank's going to be loaded down. I love it. Very excited. First week, all right, first week is done. Yep. Next week, we get to move on. A couple more weeks, we'll have water and other things going, but yeah. we've got to get through the A to Z on this one. Yep, so you guys, tune in next week, please. You guys are awesome. Um, thank you. See you next week. See you.